Did Nidisanji blackmail force their hand or make them prevent other VTubers from joining? Or is this just a misunderstanding? Right now we're talking about Ofkai Expo, a VTuber Expo, where uh, one of Nidisanji EN's generations is going to go there. Uh, Enna's going to be there. Uh, Remo Endo, I think, is going to be there. Millie's going to be there. And a lot of people have a lot of questions in regards to why they were rejected and why they're just randomly, seemingly, seemingly randomly rejecting people. And the common thread being the people that are critical of Niji Sanji. We're going to take a look, an objective look at this and not point any fingers. We're just going to take as an objective look at this and see all sides if we can. Where this all started was in the morning when False ID, who is a very respected, well-respected VTuber journalist, who was trying to get more information uh, about what was going on in the VTuber guest and vendor rejections from Ofkai Expo 2024. He said, DMs are open. Reach out if you wish to share, even if it is anonymous, which he does a lot of. And what I mean by that is that since he is a journalist, he tries to get his sources going. He tries to get all the information that he possibly can. And with that will be people that will be doing things anonymously, saying things anonymously to him and giving him information that maybe he's looking forward to. Uh, I was shown this by a person that knows me. And of course, originally it was here, but the person that did it deleted it. What they mentioned at first is to clarify, Etheria are not rejected from attending. They are confirmed to be going. It's theorized that certain VTubers and vendors are being rejected from attending at the request of Nidhi Sanji possibly due to speaking out against Didi Sanji or collabing with Doki, though nothing is confirmed. Some users have pointed out in the comments of the Ofkai Expo is not a large event and people could simply be rejected due to space constraints. Please report to False if you have any information about these strings of rejections, which is what he was asking earlier. Edit, the Ofkai Expo Twitter account has posted a tweet denying these claims literally five minutes ago. Edit two, after much thinking, I've decided I will delete this post after all. Much of this is still unconfirmed and unknown, so, and I'd hate for this to be taken as gospel or worse, reported on YouTube, spreading rumors further when I simply wanted to report something to be aware of. Now, I can understand there are rumors. I can understand when people don't want rumors to happen. This is something that should be investigated. I personally think it should be investigated to just the general sense of hopefully there are no, uh, you know, pressures on Ofkai Expo. And I want it to be investigated to clear them. If they have done nothing wrong, they should absolutely be cleared of every single wrongdoing that they are accused of. Uh, if an insider says it or whatever, uh, it should definitely happen because this, even the PR sense, even in the PR sense, it can do a lot of damage. Now, the reason why a lot of people were, were thinking that it was uh, false specifically pushing the narrative of the rejections of Ofkai Expo the reason why I don't think that is the case is because he just pretty much took a, a page off of the Ofkai Expo, actually guest list, etc. And when you look at the guest list, it is the official top part of the guest list that has Niji Sanji EN. I don't think he was trying to assume anything. I don't think he was trying to uh, actually say anything negative about Ofkai Expo. But the questions were there. People had questions for him. People had told him that things were going were going wrong things were happening etc and here we go it says we're deeply concerned this is what Ofkai Expo sent we're deeply concerned that there's a toxic but strange guests and vendor rejections that would and would like to assure people that Nidhi Sanji has not influenced our guest or vendor hall decisions at any point in time people are responding with like it's just too many applicants and it's a small organization um, people are accusing false of trying to create a narrative I don't think that's the case personally uh, and this is why he made what he made. This is the, the Ofkai Expo, the official Ofkai Expo site. It has Remu Endu, uh, and Alouette, and Millie Parfait. And then it has the other guests that they have there, including Victoria the Sun Eater, including Irene, including a lot of other people, D the Sphinx, a bunch of other people, Miori Celesta, all these people, it has everyone in there. So they have some smaller ones, some bigger ones, some people that are well-known, some people that aren't as well-known. They're there. So I don't know where people could get the idea, you know, that they, there was Nidhi Sanji stuff. I think part of it is the fact that Nidhi Sanji is doing what they're doing right now. They are going through very negative things right now and people want to kind of blame them. Now, the response to what was happening with what Ofkai Expo said 
There's only one way to respond. Invite her. That is one good way to respond. Honestly, it is a good way to respond, but not fully. This person is a person that's criticizing false. So false AD didn't... Oh, helping false, actually. So false AD didn't say anything about Nidhi Sanji in his tweet. Then Afkai swings into the response going, this isn't Nidhi Sanji, I swear. The response is ironically the only thing making me think there's a small chance of Nidhi related. It's with the tinfoil hats, honestly. It's when you want to put the tinfoil hat. Um, I'm not saying one way or the other. It does seem very strange that they wouldn't mention Nidhi Sanji. It does not seem outside of the realm of what Nidhi Sanji is doing. It does not seem like it is something that they wouldn't stoop down to because they've stooped down to worse in the past. That's why people are so curious about this. Afkai Exo has officially responded. False never said anything because of Niji. My guy, half of the effing screenshot was Niji and replies were full of people talking about Niji backlisting people. Of effing course Afkai named them. I knew y'all had rocks for... Oh, Jesus Christ, this person really hates people. They had rocks for brains, but I didn't expect to be straight up empty. I know a few of the Afkai staff and a lot of the vendors that got accepted. Don't believe the biased stuff a single bit. So these are people giving information. Of course, anyone can say that they know somebody uh, and not actually know anybody. So that's the thing. But honestly, I don't think Niji Sanji has the power to do that. I mean, they are small fish compared to other VTubers. So no name VTuber 3 views, of course. Of course. Only with 3 views. Oh, this person was blocked by Falsai. Uh, so you can't respond to his post. Splicing together a screenshot of the rejection notice and a screenshot of Afkai's guest page. Cropped only to show the Niji Sanji talents. Obvious framing. This could have been something that was given to him. That's what I mentioned in my stream. It could have been something that was given to him directly. It could have been uh, something that was done in the community. It could have just been because he was trying to get people to answer him in case if it was true. So we don't know the, the, I'm trying to be very, very objective here. We don't know the, the thoughts behind doing everything that he did. And in, in the case of what he wrote, this, this one right here, we don't know what he was thinking when he made this. We don't know what his uh, journalistic ideals were, like the ideas of what he wanted to do. Did he want to, you know, bring someone that maybe would be otherwise would have been scared to do it? And because, you know, it's anonymous, etc. Uh, we don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to put words in False's mouth. I'm not going to assume the worst when it could just be normal. But Afkai does need to shake this off. Needs to shake this fully off of themselves and get, um, get things going for Niji Sanji like in the sense of not getting the Niji Sanji things all wrapped in here because PR is huge for small organizations like this PR is huge for small cons like this they really depend on the PR and they depend on the goodwill of people if people think that Niji Sanji is involved the goodwill goes away the fact that they had to make this statement is crazy don't make me talk about this I'm gonna have to talk oh someone actually made you know made a stream about it Still have merch at this time, make emotes for Niji talent and have been accepted as a vendor. Any of my friends and acquaintances on staff are never mentioned anything about this kind of bias. I honestly don't think any of it is true. Who did Niji PR department handle this account? Pretty much. That's funny. I've been looking about this tweet from Afkai Expo. The first time anyone mentioned Niji Sanji having anything to do with it. Did Afkai just Columbo themselves? I don't think they did. I think they saw the writing on the wall. People were assuming that they were in the... The hands of Niji Sanji. They were someone that was, you know, maybe someone there was like PR, PR, PR disaster. Someone has to respond to this. They're accusing us. Someone is accusing us of Niji Sanji being the ones involved in this. And then we move on to Cass, who actually shared a tweet earlier, with the, which they deleted. And I respect the fact that they deleted it. So I'm not going to show it. I saw it before. It was basically saying that they were rejected. And it was kind of an, a, an anomalous type of message of rejection. It wasn't anything specifically stating why they were rejected. The, the rejection to be a guest at panelists at Afkai Expo. Rejection hurts, but no matter your size, and people will be upset, confused for you. Your feelings are valid. It's okay to feel them. I know they had a lot of applicants, and they did not. They don't look at the numbers. They view everyone equally, supposedly, which is fantastic. They don't have as many slots as we would like for his guests. It's still considered a small convention. I have removed my post simply out of respect for the conversation and out of respect for my friend, a friend that's going, I guess. Here's another person that says, finally got a, ne a negative reason why it's hard to be an indie. Applied to Afkai as a guest, and I wanted to have really cool presentation I've been working on for weeks, and I didn't get approved. When I was in an agency, it was much easier to get guest applications and stuff. Hello, thank you for your guest application for your convention. Unfortunately, your application has not been selected. Please give it another shot next time, though. 
So they, they mentioned the whole next time thing. So that's that's good. It's just basically they're they're trying to be, you know, straight straight shooter. And um And we have this here. Dear guest applicants, we received around 300 applications this year for guests, and we are humbled by your submission. Many of you are deserving the spotlight, but we unfortunately cannot accommodate everyone, especially given our reduced program slots this year and our budgetary concerns as a small convention. Consider this a rejection both as a guest application and for your consideration as a panelist conversion. We cannot answer questions about how the convention determined this program this year, but please do not view this as a rejection as deficiency on your part. Thank you for go daring to apply, and we hope you to see you to see some of you apply again next year. If you believe you are receiving this mail, email in error, please reach back out. Otherwise, thank you for your patience as we finish reviewing everyone's applicants. So basically, they're saying there's nothing specifically wrong with your application. There's nothing specifically wrong with, um, with what you did or what you said or anything like that. We are just rejecting based on the fact that we don't have the, the, the spaces for this. And that is all we have for this one. Of course, like I mentioned, until Ofkai fully, you know, vets themselves and things like that, people are going to have these rumor mills running around. Uh, do not attack False ID. Do not attack him saying that he created something to, to harm Nidhi Sanji. Do not try to do that because we don't know the, uh, the reasons why things were done. We don't know if he has more information than we do. We don't know any of this stuff, and it would be wrong for us to assume that he did it for negative reasons. Of course, down below, you can comment on all of this. I want to hear all your comments. I want to hear everything you do and say, and just have you guys here with me. Appreciate you. Of course, down below as well is the description, in, and you have my socials down there, as well as a video that will be here in front of you, so that you can take a look and see everything for yourself. Thank you so much. This is the Matt Salvi saying, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.